This is a disturbing story of a Brazilian referee who was beheaded by fans after he killed a player. Individually, either of these stories would be crazy enough, but this is actually both. And this is referee Otavio Jordão da Silva, 20 years old. He stabbed football player Josenir dos Santos Abreu, and this was in Brazil. And after that, uh, I just don't even understand how, how this even developed. Dos Santos Abreu supposedly hit the ref when questioning the ref's decision. And in retaliation, the ref then stabbed the player. It's believed that the ref was carrying a knife during the entire game. Santos Abreu is taken to the hospital, dies of his injuries en route to the hospital. And then soon after this attack, a crowd of people, spectators, attack the referee, tie him up, beat him, stone him and quarter him and then put his head on a stake and place it in the place it in the middle of the football of the, the, the soccer field. It's just unbelievable. 27 year old Luis Moraes de Souza has been arrested over the incident. He admits that he did participate in the assault of the referee, but he denies that he killed the referee. Police are continuing to search. This reminds me of back in 1994, Lewis, when the Columbia World Cup player Andres Escobar was shot dead for in a match against the U.S. team. He scored an own goal. He scored a goal for, for the U.S. And he was shot. He was shot to death. It reminds me of that. But this story has added even more layers of of, uh, of just a gruesome nature. Yeah, we've we've covered a few stories before where uh, a player goes crazy at a ref, beats him. Um, and it's, uh, you know, I don't know how this happens. I've, I've never really played soccer, um, especially not with a ref involved. And, you know, this is an amateur league, too. Uh, I just can't imagine people getting this angry over over a soccer match like this. Um, and, you know, it seems like everyone involved is uh, has this heightened level of uh, of anger and sometimes paranoia, which explains why the ref is carrying a knife with him through these matches. He expects things like this to happen. It's it's truly incredible. It's just an unbelievable story. And uh you know, I, I, I am a, f a big fan of soccer, have been, being from Argentina, always watch the World Cups, looking forward to this uh, next World Cup. But some of the violence that's surrounding th this and other sports, to be honest, is quite frankly, absolutely horrifying. And we'll continue to cover it. We'll see what ends up happening legally with uh, who is charged when it was a group, when it's a mob, essentially, that killed him. Who gets charged? We're going to see.